you already love Simon Hurley's Lunar Paste or you're just interested in finding out how to get lots of color and shine quickly and easily on your cards, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and in today's video I am sharing a whole bunch of techniques with the brand new release of Simon Hurley for Ranger Inc's Solar Paste. This brand new line of pastes comes in six tints. They are absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to show them to you and share a whole bunch of ways to use them. So first, let's take a look at the brand new pastes, how they work, and how they swatch out. Here are the six colors of brand new solar paste from Simon Hurley for Ranger Inc. As you can see, there's one color for each color in the rainbow. When you open them up, they look mostly white, but they do have a tint of color. So when you put them on white cardstock, they look one way, just a very subtle hint of color, as you'll see as I'm swiping it with the palette knife on the cardstock tag. But on the dark colors of cardstock, especially as these dry, you see even more color. It's really like magic. It's the funniest thing because you can do a whole bunch of techniques with this using both white or black or any color of cardstock in between. I like to swatch out all of my pastes with a palette knife and then with a blending tool. So I get to see a thicker application and a thinner blended application. So we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you each of the colors. Now, it is very hard to see the color on white cardstock in camera. In person, you definitely see that hint of color on the white cardstock, and I'll try to capture it as much as I can, but you really will see it in person quite a bit more. And as we work through, like for this one, you can definitely see it on that white cardstock. The more it dries, the more you see it, and the more you tilt it in the light, the more you see it as well. But really, the magic is seeing the application on the dark color of cardstock. It is so wild to work on the white cardstock and then start working on the black cardstock and see the difference between those two. And so you can have a lot of fun playing with some techniques that really use the elements of this paste to your advantage. Now let's jump into a bunch of techniques using these fabulous solar pastes. I have a lunar paste video where I share how to use lunar paste to make your own metallic cardstock. So I wanted to try making shiny cardstock with the solar paste as well. So check it out. It definitely tones down the color a little of the cardstock. You can see it lightens it a touch and then of course it adds that shiny iridescence on top. But what's cool about it is you don't have to worry about full coverage on colorful cardstock. You can just see the shine and not have to worry that you got some more on one part and less on another part. How about stenciling on white cardstock? It will definitely show up, especially on, you can see my cardstock is a bright white. So using any color of the solar paste, I'm going to use a palette knife and a scraper to apply that paste in a nice, uniform, consistent manner across this stencil from Simon Hurley. And this is a layering stencil, so later on I'll use the second layer once this first layer is fully dry. But another thing you can do with this solar paste is tint it with an ink refill. So I am using Simon Hurley's dye ink refill, which is Roar, and I'm tinting the solar paste. Just put a tiny droplet in there. You don't need much, but check out that color. It's absolutely gorgeous. So depending on what types of ink refills you have, you can work them into these solar pastes to make a really fun new color for your project. And I like to use just a little bit here and there. So we're seeing a mix of the solar paste as is and a mix of the solar paste mixed with that refill ink. So you get kind of this hybrid look to the stencil background. All of it is shiny, but it is that dual color there. 
I'm going to do the same exact thing only with different colors for the second layer. Now remember again that first layer has to 100% fully dry. Fortunately solar paste just like lunar paste doesn't take very long to dry but you want to make sure that if you touch it it's not tacky, it's not soft, anything like that. Again I am going to use a little bit of love struck this time and just swipe in that little bit of color and then mix it around with the palette knife and again Again, not put it consistently across the entire stencil, just little bits here and there to mix in that color with the solar paste. As you can see, I'm working with the same color paste and ink refill. So I have Love Struck and Overheated. They're both kind of the reds. You could mix two different colors and see what effect you get there as well. The sky's the limit and just have fun playing around with these pastes. You can create a sponge painting look. So here I'm not going to fully mix in the color. I have Overheated here and Overzealous as far as the ink refill, but I didn't completely mix them in. You can see kind of the swirls of color within it and I'm using a domed foam blender and I'm just sponge painting or pouncing that domed foam blender right on top of some cardstock. Now if I did it on white cardstock you would see a lot more white but because I have a colorful cardstock background you're just seeing lots of shine and those slightly dual colors of the pastes on top. You can also use the solar paste like lunar paste for stamping. This works really good with images that are full images, not just outline images. So I'm using one of Simon Hurley's paint swatch cling mounted stamps and his acrylic block, large, nice acrylic block. Then I'll use a domed foam blender to apply the solar paste onto the stamp. Now I just want to do that that way because if you try to stamp it into the paste, it's going to slide on you and it's not going to get a nice smooth image. So I think using like a foam blender like this and then flipping the block over and stamping it on some dark cardstock really works well. And like I mentioned, it works best with this type of larger solid image. Check that out. You get the, all the details of the edge of the paint swatch, which I think is so much fun. So I'll I'll do another one of those just to give you an idea of a really light subtle look as well as that darker contrast look that we just did. So here I have that lighter color on a lighter green cardstock so you just see that hint but the hint plus all of that shine in real life has a huge impact and makes a really beautiful background. You can also use the solar pastes like the lunar paste to swipe on dark color cardstock. And one way to do this, I think I've seen Simon do it several times. I've done it a couple of times as well. You can place a little blob of the solar paste on one side of the cardstock. So I am going down the rainbow using all six colors of solar paste, scooping them out with the palette knife and putting a significant little blob on that left hand side of the cardstock. Once that's all done, then I'm going to take the scraper and I'm just going to swipe it from left to right and check this out. It's like magic. I mean, the way that those white solar pastes show up on dark cardstock is just unbelievable. Another way to use them is to swipe them on an embossed piece of cardstock. So I embossed this black cardstock with an embossing folder from Spellbinders, and now just take a little bit of the solar paste. If you don't wanna touch what's in the bottle, just scoop out a little bit, put it on your work surface, and then put it on your finger and just rub gently on that embossed cardstock. Again, that just shows up the embossing and the color of those solar paste on that dark cardstock background. I really feel this is just the tip of the iceberg with working with these amazing pastes. I think you will love playing around with them and finding new techniques and ways to use them. To keep the video from getting too long, I'm not gonna make cards with every single background I created, but I did wanna share how to use these backgrounds to make a couple of cards. For the embossed background, I decided to grab a stamp set called Inked Blooms from Simon Hurley with a flower and a sentiment that I grabbed from that stamp set and stamp them in Versamark ink and cover those with white embossing powder and then heat set that. 
You can see there's a lot of anti-static powder tool on there. Once this is heat set and fully cooled down so it won't smear, you can wipe that away. First though, I am gonna add a little bit of tape runner to the back of the embossed panel that I did trim down to four by five and a quarter so I could mat it on some black cardstock that will also help to flatten it out. So I decided to add a little bit of color to this embossed flower. I am using the Royal Flush Solar Paste and just smoothly ink blending it over that embossed flower. You can see that the heat embossing resists the solar paste, but the color shows up on the black cardstock. I'm gonna use the matching dies to cut that flower out and then some black foam squares to pop it up on the background of that embossed card. I'll also pop up the little sentiment that I die cut into a sentiment strip. It just says hello. This again is such a fun background that you don't need to add very much to it to complete the card. Similarly to lunar paste, you can also stamp and heat emboss on solar paste. So on the rainbow background, I'll add some anti-static powder tool and then I'll ink up another floral and sentiment from that inked blooms stamp set and cover it with embossing powder that is white. And once that's done, I'll heat set everything. So don't go too long on any of that solar paste. You don't wanna melt it or do anything like that, but you can absolutely heat set it and then you will melt your embossing powder. I trimmed that panel down to four by five and a quarter and this time I'm matting it on white cardstock to draw out the colors and also the white embossing. I absolutely love how these colors turn out especially on dark cardstock. For the sponge painted background, I have a, another bloom that I'm going to stamp in heat emboss, but this time I'm going to use gold embossing powder on both the florals and the sentiment. I think that gold with the orange just looks so much fun. It's a very soft look. It's not as popping off the background as a white would be here. So you can decide what you want. Maybe a white would have been nice because I'm going to add something that has a little bit of white in it, but I always like gold and orange and pink colors together. So I thought this would be really nice. I trimmed down a piece of that stenciled background that we have all those tints and the refills that we tinted the solar paste with, and I thought that was a nice edge to this card. So you can see how much shine between the gold embossing powder and all that solar paste that you get on this card. I'm so excited about these solar paste, but I'm curious how you would use them. Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see some videos about solar paste predecessor, the lunar paste, I have an entire playlist of videos and I'm going to link to that here. As always, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. The solar pastes. It is what it is. <laughs> that is the sound that I make when I say pastes. <laughs> that was never going to end. That sentence was never going to end. There has to be an end.